I need to worry about my future. I need to worry about my finances. Now, you may be very well off financially, but there is still this thing comes that what if um, I lose everything? What if what's going to happen to me? It's basically always comes to if I'm not careful, if I'm not taking care of myself, if I'm not taking care of my finances, if I'm not saving up for future, what's going to happen to me? And there's always this worry or anxiety about the world, that where is the world going, uh, what's going to happen. And you can see it right now, it's happening very strongly, that the world is in this weird place. And it's never been like this before. There's no script. You can't follow the script now, because we have nothing to compare it to. And all of a sudden, the entire world is shut down for whatever reason. It's the virus, the pandemic, and we're not going to get into whether it's real or not, or there's other forces behind it or not. That's a complete different story. The story, the, what, what is, is that we have come into this pivotal point in our history that most people, maybe in a very small uh, percentage of the very elite uh, on the very, very top, maybe they know what's going on or where things are going, but the rest of the world doesn't know anything. We don't know what's going to happen, where it's going to go. And that creates a lot of fear and anxiety for the mind, for this I thought for this individual person, this individual person that has a sense of separation, doesn't feel one with existence, and now its, it's existence is kind of threatened. Its future is threatened. The programs that it used to be running are not working because we're used to getting into this routine of and believing or thinking that we know where everything is going or what's going to happen. So you get used to your routine and, and eventually you start thinking that maybe you know everything. You have figured out life, you know how world works, life works, and all of a sudden you have come to this situation like this and the mind is going crazy and it's in panic and anxiety because of what? what it, why are you worried and why are you in fear? What is it that really throws you off? I understand financial instability is a big part of it, uh, not knowing if you're going to be alive that's major. Uh, is society going to be the same? Is this going to change? All these things. But to whom do these problems appear? Who is it that is worried? Who is it that is afraid? And its existence is being threatened. To whom is this happening? When I ask you a question that, okay, tell me, John, what is going on? To whom is this happening? Who is worried? And your first question is, I. I am worried. I am worried of what's going to happen to me or me and my family. So you always come up, no matter what happens, with this word, I. You're referring to yourself, the I. So 
this I, this me that we're referring to is what is it? What is this me? What is this I? And here is where I'm referring to that barely anybody pointing out to it or challenging it. And a lot of us go through an entire life without ever questioning this or challenging it, ever. And in the pseudo-spirituality, uh, the new spirituality that we're learning and thousands of teachers are teaching it, in fact, the teachings are to fortify and make this I, this person, you, as an independent uh, entity, fortifying it and making you strong, making you believe that you have the power of manifestation, you have the power of creating things, you're part of the co-creation with God, and da -de -da -de 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 -de, and there's a lot of books and a lot of teachings that is going to teach you how you can create whatever you want means fortifying and making this I, this me, who is in complete separation from everything else, making it stronger. But you don't realize that in fortifying this identity of me, who is separated from everything else, because that's its experience. You know, my daily experience is to be separated from everything else. Therefore, I'm afraid of everything else because everything else can, can come and uh, threaten my existence. So now I'm working on this one to get it stronger so I can create what I want. So what happens is, is you're getting further away without knowing, keep getting further away from the actual thing you're trying to get to by identifying to a false identity. And you have no way of knowing it. Zero. So you go ahead doing it all of your life and then you go, you, the body dies and then the soul has to reincarnate and come back and do this thing again. And it keeps doing it and doing it and doing it. It keeps coming back over and over again until maybe at one point in its evolution, something happens and something triggers it that it starts questioning its own existence. It's somehow its attention goes inwards and paying attention to who is this me, who is this I. And then that becomes the, the, the very pivotal point of the transformation and that creates this situation and at least opens up the door, it gives you a chance that you can liberate yourself from the cycle of suffering, from this cycle. Because the cycle, as you can see, it's got a lot of ups and downs. You're happy when you get what you want. When things go your way and everything fall into places, then you're happy and you're satisfied. But that is only happening part of the time. Some people, they're not very lucky, they don't have a great karma. Most of the life, things don't go their way and they're suffering. As some people, let's say it's a 50-50 situation, 50% 50 of the time things going their way, but the other 50% of the time things don't go your way. 